Richard, um, how much of that news from Japan is going to filter through and drive European markets today? It's likely that there's going to be some uh, positive feeling on, on the back of it. It, it removes in some ways uh, another plank of uncertainty, something uh, that the market is looking forward to because what we have seen over the last week or so is that uh, I think Ben Bernanke wondered just how many other ways he could say the same thing, namely that tapering wouldn't happen uh, until such time as the US economy is back uh, on its own two feet and also as and when it is done it will be done on a gradual basis so that's uh, along with the Japanese Japanese news has allowed investors to focus back in on corporate earnings because we're really ramping up the number of corporate earnings on both sides of the pond this week. Indeed we are and uh, one of the big ones out of Europe today was a Swiss bank UBS uh, beat the street profits um, higher than expected. Market seemed to like it, shares are up 2.5%. Yes, that's right. It, it's managed to come to some sort of agreement with the US regulators over some, some uh, supposed mis-selling, although it's not actually quoted a figure. But perhaps most promisingly, in terms of its flag, flagship uh, private banking arm, it reported inflows for the uh, period of uh, 10 billion francs. So this is um, kind of um, following the, the positive US banks news that we've had so far and should have a positive read across for the UK banks which will start reporting their H1 figures in a couple of weeks time. You mentioned the Fed earlier, Ben Bernanke, you're talking about earnings now. What's going to be the driver for the week here in Europe? Is it going to be taper talk or earnings? I think it's fair to say we have now switched uh, very much back to earnings. There's some interesting ones coming along this week from the States in particular, the likes of Facebook and, and Ford, uh, McDonald's today, and also Apple tomorrow, because uh, if, if you can summarise the US Q2 reporting season so far, it's not totally ramped up to full speed, but we've had a few coming through. But if you can summarise it so far, it's been fairly disappointing for the tech stocks uh, and fairly pleasing for the banking stocks. So we'll continue to get a, a flavour of uh, US corporate health in, in the next few days. We've been talking for about two and a half, three minutes, and we haven't mentioned the Eurozone crisis, but um, Portugal is still in focus. Uh, there'll be no snap election, but many analysts, including Goldman Sachs today, reckon that um, a second bailout is uh, on the cards. Is that playing into investors' minds today? News like that is, is obviously ne never helpful. I, I think there's an increasingly uh, pragmatic view that it's the larger, uh, in terms of percentage of the overall GDP countries, the sort of Spains and Italy's, and even the, to some extent the France's, which do cause some co sort of concern. So the Portuguese news will not be particularly helpful for sentiment, but on a standalone basis, unlikely to be market moving.